In today's day and age, people are pressured. You are pressured. Pressured into always being on the lookout for romance. Pressured into always raising the roof for what is acceptable financial success. Pressured into thinking that conforming to societal norms of living is the only correct way of living. And pressured into always thinking that whatever you're currently doing is never enough. Now, at this point, I could also attack you with some statistics. I could tell you that in Sweden, 1,200 people die by suicide every year, two-thirds of them being men. I could tell you that the depression subreddit has accumulated over 1 million members worldwide, and that the anxiety subreddit is close behind with 650,000 members. But what difference does that make? The point I'm trying to make right now is that people are not necessarily happy. You might not be happy. We try so hard to fit into the mold that society has provided for us, yet we never know if we've done it right. We often rely on other people to tell us when we're doing good. And if nobody tells us our worth, we assume that we are worthless. I want to change that today. I'm going to give you two words that I want you not only to remember, but I want you to understand and start living by. And the two words are self-confirmation. What's that? Well, if we look uh, at the Merriam Dictionary, it's defined as <clears throat> serving or tending to confirm or validate oneself or itself, which is a bunch of hoopla, admittedly. Uh, so I've created my own definition for self-confirmation. I'd like to define self-confirmation as one's ability to confirm their prosperity and existence without the need of external parties now what do i mean by that like what do i actually mean by that one's ability to confirm their prosperity and existence without the need of external parties i mean that all this pressure that you're currently feeling about romance finance norms and fitting in it's all you Sure, you might have a strict parent or relative with high expectations, but the actual need to meet those expectations comes from within you. You are currently choosing others' expectations or what you believe are others' expectations above your own, and you don't need to do that. You're not only allowed, but also encouraged to live a life that makes you happy, no matter the circumstances that might be involved. If you're happy doing something, that's a sign that you should continue doing it. And don't wait for others' approval, nor get discouraged by others' disapproval. You are successful in some shape or form, and I don't just mean that financially. And you are worthy. Start telling yourself that, and I can guarantee that you will see a change in your well-being. Now, to close this talk off, I just want to say that it would be very naive of me to promise you happiness. So I'm not going to do that. But I can promise you that if you stop relying on other people to confirm your worth and start realizing that the only opinion about you that matters is your own, you will become calmer. And from that calmness, happiness can grow. Thank you.